I thought it would be okay to experiment with with um, feed independent of the I mean, change wheels. And to do that, I bought myself a couple of very cheap motors, uh, worm gear motors, which uh, I also bought but haven't gotten yet the, the power supply. Um, reversible motors, I mean reversible right direction, and low RPM. This is a 10 RPM motor. And um, since we're being a metric country, I don't think I'll ever need um, the thread dial indicator. So I might be either uh, using a feed with a separate pinion. I don't think that's overkill. So I think I'll gear it or I'll, I'll connect it to the hand wheel or make a, a new, uh, for instance, a plastic gear wheel or something rubber some something to to gear it onto um, onto the, the feed here at least that's a that's a that's a trial uh, that's a uh, an experiment back to the lead screw uh, and the feed and the threading uh, again as told i bought a new set lead screw a nut will make it into a clasp nut to replace the, the imperial version this was 20 by 2 I mean 2 millimeter lead it could be into 4 millimeter lead. probably would match this one this is all around 3 3 point something this is 8 TPI for the longitudinal feed and threading but I wanted to, to make it um, to try out a new gadget called the ELS2, an electronic lead screw, which is now commercially available. That means that you can do away with the change gears and actually also with the, with the tumbler uh, mechanism. This could be left in place, but anyway, there's no need for it now. So what this does is that with a, a controller you can um, synchronize the, the spindle speed with the uh, help of the of a um, tachometer. So a sensor to, to measure the RPM and then you feed this to a stepper motor so that you control the longitudinal feed. And this is of course uh, on the Myford uh, with the, without the gearbox. Very nice way to avoid the, the change gear and also swapping between feed and, and threading. You can also retain the use of the ATPI imperial feed screw with this system, but I want to try both metric and imperial. But saving the best for the last. Today a packet arri package arrived from a company in Germany called Rocketronics and I bought myself a um, complete two-axis electronic lead screw called the ELS2. It's like Christmas Eve here. Um, main things being the stepper motors, the RPM sensor and the ELS2 which is the controller box. There's also here a complete set for the two axis control with cables and uh, power supplies. This comes from a company called Rocketronics in Germany. And of course, these are available elsewhere also, but I bought a complete package. So this will now control my my um, longitudinal feed. And this control the cross feed. I will retain the use of the clasp nuts, as I said, by making um, clasp nuts out of that. 
but you can also of course then use it as is but then you will not have any possibility to to undo the, um, the lead screw so you will have no uh, use of the hand wheel that's up to the individual I guess but I will also have the, the lead screw handle here I will have the clasp nuts so I can use the hand wheel and on some as I said I will use the the, the feed motor instead of this on the cross feed um, I will have the stepper motor mounted on the rear so I will retain the use of the hand wheel of course it is not CNC but there is a range of programs pre-programmed um, like for cutting cones for cutting circles or, uh, or um, and especially then for cutting threads so easily set up now I'll refer to the website the website so that this is uh, explained in an in a, in a orderly fashion I'm really excited about this and uh, look forward to use this um, to try this out